Hey guys. guys, welcome back to the Traveling Swiss. So in this video, we are going to give you the best day trips from Zurich. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna give you the top Maybe brainstorm even of the best day trips you can do from Zurich. So why Zurich? And a lot of you actually message us. We live in mm -hmm. Zurich right now, asking for recommendations from Zurich, and it sparked this video idea. And I think it's because a lot of you are actually staying in Switzerland and you're staying in Zurich. And I think a lot of that is because Zurich is so well connected, both regionally and internationally abroad. Zurich has a really nice kind of major airport that's international, a lot of flights go in and out of Zurich. Zurich has a really great train station. So I think a lot of people tend to either start and end or both their Switzerland trip in Zurich. So we wanna give you all of the different places you can see outside of Zurich. We'll link a video here. We explored Zurich in the summer if you wanna see what to do in Zurich. And Zurich really is a beautiful city. We live there, we mm -hmm. might be biased, but I don't know that it's somewhere that you need to spend multiple yeah. days when you're mm -hmm. in Switzerland. So we're gonna give you all of the places that you can explore from Zurich if you're using Zurich as a base. So Lucerne is our first day trip that we recommend. We really love Lucerne mm -hmm. and it's really easy to get there from Zurich. It's about 40, 45 minutes uh, train ride from Zurich. It's a straight train ride, you don't need to change. It's pretty cheap also, I think, to, to get there. And it's just a beautiful city, beautiful little old town. We love the Chapel Bridge. There are some, uh, some nice things to do. And it's also, compared to Zurich, closer to the mountains. And you have amazing views on the Quatre Cantons Lake. I don't know how you say it in English or in, uh, in German. In English, it's the Lake Lucerne. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and in German, it's the Fjordwaldstättersee. There you go. And so you can actually go up also in your day trip. You can go up to the Rigikulm or you can go up to the Pilatuskulm. And these are things that can be done pretty easily. To go from Lucerne to, uh, to the Rigikulm, you can go there by boat actually and then go up from Wittnau or Vegas to the Rikulm. So these are options that could be pretty fun uh, to do in your day trip to Lucerne. Okay, so the next destination that we're going to recommend that you can do as a day trip is Basel. So I think a theme through a lot of this video are we're gonna recommend places that might seem like they're all over the map in mm -hmm. Switzerland and they kind of are, but Switzerland is really, really small and really <laughs> well connected. So I think depending on how open you are to distances, some of these might be, you know, two day trips, some of them might be half day trips, but we're just gonna give you all the information and you can make it for yourself. So Basel is still really close and I think it can yeah. be a true day trip. It's an hour away from Zurich. And again, you can get a train that goes right to Basel. Basel is located right kind of on the corners of France and Germany, so it has an interesting location. I think why people really go to Basel is it's called Museum Stadt. So yeah. Basel has, I think, nearly 40 museums, and that ranges from like world-renowned art museums with like Picassos and Monets and everything you could think of to a museum about how they started making paper in Europe, mm -hmm. to, to kind of just every type of museum you could really think of, modern art, historical art, classical, everything is really in Basel. So it's a really great place. I kind of think of it as Switzerland's cultural hub in many yeah. ways. So it's a great place to visit. It's a really like dynamic scene. There's a river, there's a lot to do in Basel to see. We made a video about Basel here and that goes through 10 different things you can do in Basel. So quite a bit to do, but I would say if you're interested in museums and arts and culture in Switzerland, Basel should definitely be worth a stop on your trip. And it's really just an hour from Zurich. So if you wanna go for a day and you don't feel like you know staying in Basel, if that doesn't feel worth it to you, you can really get to yeah, Basel and just go for a few hours. Feasible. So our third day trip recommendation is Schaffhausen. I personally didn't know Schaffhausen from, because I'm from Geneva, it's a little bit far from, uh, from Geneva, but it's such a beautiful, cute little city. And it is 
I think 35, 40 minutes away from uh, Zurich by train, so super quick. That's definitely a day trip. Maybe no need to, uh, to stay the night there, but really worth it for two reasons. First, as I said, the cute little town, the old town, the little castle is really nice to, to walk in. You can do this in two hours, three hours uh, top. And then what's really, really special about Schaffhausen is the Rhinefall. Rhinefalls are these kind of Niagara Falls of Switzerland, which are actually the largest or the most the strongest the one. The most in. powerful, I think that's go. measured by like water flow volume. Yes. It's really, really impressive. You can visit it from both sides and from Zurich actually you have a stop. You can stop directly there. It's, it might take a little bit more time for the train, but it's Neuhausen Fallen, Fellen, I think. And so that's really the highlight of Schaffhausen and this is really what makes it a good day trip to one of our top five day trips. So Schaffhausen is also on our list. Okay, so number four, the fourth day trip that we recommend from Zurich. And again, this can take up to a day or a half day and that is Rappersville. So Rappersville is a very, very lovely little, I'm not sure if you'd call it a city, but lovely little village that's on the other end of Lake Zurich, kind of opposite of where Zurich is. So you can get to that in two different ways. So the quickest way and the most efficient way is you can take a train. Mm -hmm. So you could take a train directly to Rappersville, but something that we think is really nice, if you want to explore, there are boat trips yes. daily and you can take a boat cruise, the ZVV. Yes. The ZVV, you could take a boat cruise from Zurich to Rappersville. I think that takes about two hours. Mm -hmm. So obviously not the most efficient means of travel, but you're doing it for the ride. So if mm -hmm. you have, a really sunny day. It's a beautiful way to get there. So you can experience quite a bit before you even get to Rappersville. And Rappersville is one of those cities that I think is just really charming all times of the year. Yeah. So if you're there in the spring or even, you know, parts of the summer, there's really, really beautiful rose gardens in Rappersville. It's known as the city of the roses in Switzerland. So there's these stunning rose gardens that you can just walk through all different colors and it's totally free to access, which is not something that I'll say happens in Switzerland very often, just something free to do. So you can go to Rappersville and you can explore the rose gardens and you can just, you know, stroll, explore it. It's really beautiful. It's a lovely village. You can mm -hmm. get a drink or a cup of coffee on the lake. Or if you're in Switzerland during the holiday season around Christmas time, they have beautiful Christmas markets every year in Rappersville as well. They're really cute, they're really charming. It's just a smaller village that has like a nice feel. So if you're not going, you know, into the Alps or into the countryside from Zurich, if you're just here for a quick time mm -hmm. and you wanna get that village feeling of Switzerland, like a little Christmas village, I think Rappersville is a really great option to go to from Zurich. So our last day trip recommendation is Bonn. Bonn is the capital of Switzerland. It is geographically maybe the furthest in our list from Zurich, but yet it is still an hour away with train because you have just a one-stop uh, train that goes there every, I think, uh, hour from Zurich and you have lots of other trains to go there. And it's really a, a pretty nice city and with the train you can arrive right away in the city center you can get to the Federal Palace, you can walk in the old town, see all these cute fountains, you can go see the bears yeah. also, and the, you have the river R ah, that is also going around Bern that is really nice to, uh, to see on and, uh, and different levels of the city. So I, I really enjoyed the, the city of Bern. I think in the summer, in the fall, um, it's uh, probably my recommendation. You have also some museum, you have the clay uh, foundation or museum, uh, or Zentrum actually, that is reachable by bus from there, that I would recommend also if you like museums. But yeah, Bonn is quite a nice city to, to do and you can do it in a day from Zurich. Yeah, so if Bern interests you, we have a full video here where we explored awesome. Bern, we went up to the Gurten, which is like a little kind of mountain that they have in Bern. So if it sounds interesting to you, we will link the video here. Okay, so as we started going through day trip recommendations, we thought of another one. So we're gonna give you a little bit of a bonus, but I think this one is, probably a better day trip if you have a car mm -hmm. in Zurich. It's just a little bit easier to access and that's Appenzell. Yes, so Appenzell is a region in northeast Switzerland, not too far from uh, from Zurich, 
but as you said better to access by car you can go by train there but as the goal is to get into mountains and for a day trip I think it's easier to just have a car and reach your goal uh, quicker so two things I would recommend in Appenzell are two sort of similar day trips to Appenzell is one the Isha restaurant that is quite famous you might have seen some pictures of it and this restaurant is also close you can do a hike day hike we did this to the Zee Alpsee which is beautiful has a view on the Sentis mountain and it's just with the Asia restaurant and this is just uh, uh, perfect and so for this you have to go to Wasserhauen which you can reach by train but it's more than two hours so maybe for a day trip I would uh, you just have to make either to wake up early or <laughs> to do it uh, in, uh, in two days um, and then go up to with the uh, Ebenalp Gondor and then you can go down your way to Asia and then the Alpsee. So yeah, the Isha restaurant was actually quite a nice little stop. We had a little lunch that was uh, that was nice. And after, you can also stop if you have a car in Appenzell, the town or the city. It's uh, nice, it's known for its cheese, the mm -hmm. Appenzeller, and it's quite also a nice uh, town to walk in. But once again, you can spend maybe an hour there and it's enough. So for a day trip with a car, Appenzell as a little bonus to our list uh, would be a perfect day trip. Okay, so that was our top five with the bonus that we threw in at the end, day trip recommendations for Zurich. So I think thematically you probably noticed that all of these are within an hour or so from mm -hmm. Zurich. So I think one of the great things about Zurich is its location is pretty central in Switzerland and just because of that, you know, amazing train station that is by far the largest in Switzerland. You can get to most places in Switzerland pretty easily unless they're, you know, within the mountains. So you can get to most cities in Switzerland, I would say, you know, unless you're going all the way to Geneva within an hour or so. So Zurich really is a great location to explore the rest of Switzerland. So we hope we gave you some, you know, inspiration as you're planning your trips. So with that, that is the end of the video. If you've made it this far, thank you very much for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing to support us. And if you want to stay connected with us between uploads, you can follow us over on Instagram. It's the same handle. It's at the traveling Swiss. A lot of you have been DMing me their questions about planning your trip to Switzerland, which is so excited to see. I'm really excited that the borders are finally open. I hope the situation continues to allow it and people keep exploring this beautiful country with us. So with that, we're going to sign off and we will catch you in the next one. Bye, Bye guys. guys.